Welcome back, everyone. I'm Erica Pitsy of jackcotton.com, and I'm here with luxury real estate expert, author, and agent, Jack Cotton. And this is our third installment of the market preparation versus staging series here. And you've been talking about this checklist right. that agents need to have. What makes a good checklist? Well, create your own. It comes from you, it comes from your experience, right. it comes from your point of view and your perspective or the combined perspective of all the agents in your office. But basically the way to create one is to get a blank piece of paper and go stand out in front of a house. It could be your own house. And just stand out in front and start writing things down as, as you notice them. Trees trimmed, ed, gardens edged, uh, weeds out of walk, you know, doorbell cracked. I mm. mean, you have 90 seconds, as I mentioned a couple weeks ago, to make an impression with a buyer. And they walk up to the front door and they see a cracked doorbell or they see the light on the side of the door. And it's like, you know, millions of dead bugs and cobwebs and spiders and Not okay. grossness. That makes a big impression when you walk up to the front door. And conversely, when you walk up to the front door and the lantern on the side of the door is pristine and perfect and clean, what does that tell you? It tells you the owner loves this house. Right. And it makes you feel welcome. And you just assume that everything else is just as good as what you see in that little lantern or that nice doorbell that's lit up and not cracked. So then you just go room by room, you know, starting with the foyer, the living room, and just look around the room and notice things, you know, like if there's a crack here or check the baseboards, check the floors, fireplace. I mean, just make a checklist. It's so simple. And, you know, when you come into a house like this one, which is perfect, when you give a seller the market preparation checklist and you've written down perfect, 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 and just put on checks and you're, everything is wonderful in this house. They love that. Yeah. They love that. And you know, when you finish a listing presentation and you can actually hand them, once they sign the contract, you can hand them the market preparation checklist for their house because you did that on your first appointment and filled out all the spaces and checked off all the things. That's a huge, that's a huge win for them. They actually got something for signing them the dotted line for you to market their house for the next six to 12 months. So it's a real big, it's a game changer, I think. And as I said before, really adds a lot of value to the process. Yeah, and you've been talking about how important value enhancing is. Even though in this situation, a checklist does sound a little bit time consuming, but it seems like it would be absolutely worth it. Oh yeah, it's, I mentioned, yeah, it's time consuming, otherwise known as work. This is work. <laughs> You have to work to be successful in this. And then, you know, you augment the checklist with, you know, a photography checklist. I mean, photographers know they show up at these homes sometimes the beds aren't made, mm. um, there's underwear on the floor. You, I mean, they've seen everything. So there should be a checklist for a seller to get the home ready for photography or to keep you on track to get it ready for the photographer also. And then all the documentation things you should have. It's a great way to fill out your market preparation checklist and to showcase your expertise. And as I've mentioned, when you're talking to a seller about this, you can ask them, it's okay to lead the witness when you're in a listing presentation. You know, how much extra value do you think this could bring to the sale, of, sale price of your home? And I always tell people two to four points. I can't prove it, but I believe it. It's worth two to four points. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money on a two, three, four million dollar house. Absolutely. So um, you got to do it. Okay, there we go. And we've got our final installment of this series coming up. Yeah. So let's tease this for people. What are we going to be talking about in that final series? We're going to be talking about actually how we sell the value and how we show the seller how much value it brings to the table. And one more thing, if they send me an email, I have a guide on how to create a market preparation checklist. It's like a 24-page PDF on how to create your own. Perfect. Yeah, step by step. There you go. This guy's got it all. All right. And to see more expert advice from Jack Cotton himself, you can go to luxuryrealestateunplugged.com.